Welcome back. In our last video, we created simplified version of the blockchain. We stored our blockchain in self.chain list, which is a temporary space. We need to find a way to store our blockchain data on a disk. Let's go ahead and do that. For that, we need to create a new directory called database. Head back to the core folder. Create a new directory called database. Inside the database directory, create a new module called database.py. database.py. Okay. So inside this module, we need to create a new class called blockchain DB. Blockchain DB. Define the init function. Declare the file name in which we want to store our blockchain data. Self dot file name. Give the file name as blockchain. We will be using our database module a lot. So let's go ahead and create a separate base class which will control the complete functionality of reading, writing, updating the data. Let's go ahead and do that. Class base db. Declare the init function. Declare the base path where it should look for our blockchain file. Self dot base path. Set it to data. Now create the complete path to read the file. Self dot file path. Join it. with self dot base path and the file name self dot file name so in order to get access to this file name we need to inherit this base class here let's go ahead and do that base db so now this file name will be available here. Also do super init Okay, let's go ahead and create the right function. write function will take block as an input that we will pass from our blockchain class and let's go ahead and open the file that we created in the init method file path open the file in the append mode there is a problem with the append mode if we'll open the file with append mode it will write the data in the file but it will not separate the data uh, object so let me show you what i mean by that so this is how it will write the data when we'll append the data in the file we'll write the block one two three but there won't be any separation this is okay while we are writing the data but this will create a problem when we'll try to read the data json.load method will fail uh, when it is not able to find the separation between the JSON objects. So we have to find a workaround to write the data into this file and uh, so that we'll be able to read the data as well. So to do that, we need to first read the data from this file and then concatenate this block 
object in that file and then finally write that data. So for that, first we need to create the read function. Let's go ahead and create read function. Inside the read function, first check if file exists or not. Sort file path. Import the OS module. If file does not exist, print the message. file self dot file path not available and return false okay in the next step open a file self dot file path open it in read mode as file file dot read line we are doing the file dot read line because the entire file is written in one shot so even if we are doing the read line it will uh, read the entire file Let's go ahead and store it in the row variable. Now check if length of the file is greater than zero. Then do JSON dot loads raw and store it in the data variable. Go ahead and import the JSON module. If we do not have any data, so it should return data as blank and finally return the data variable. So let's understand the logic here. So first, when we'll try to create the Genesis block, we will have the zero data in here. And uh, that's the reason we are uh, returning the blank data. But when we have created the blocks, so then it should uh, return us the data. And that data we will use here in the write block. So let's go ahead and use and call the write uh, read function here. Data equal to self dot read. And if data is returned, to data equals to data plus item. So read function will send us the complete data that we have it on the file. And this line of code will append the new block that will pass from the blockchain class. It will add it in the existing data and then we will have the final data along with the new block. And if data is empty, so that means it is a Genesis block. Let's go ahead and handle that condition. So for Genesis block, we'll simply return the item in the data variable. And here instead of append, go ahead and do write as file, file dot write json dot dumps, and we want to dump the data variable. Okay, so this looks good. So let's quickly go ahead what exactly we did. We created the blockchain DB class and to handle the read, write, update and the other functionalities, we have created the base class. So this base class will handle all these functions. 
then we are inheriting the base class here we have defined the file name where we want to store our blockchain and then we have created the read function read function will first read the complete data from the disk and uh, then we are appending the data uh, with the new block in it and finally we are writing the complete data back in the file now let's head back to the blockchain db and create a new function here so you remember we need to handle the last block as well so because we need to get the block height and the previous block hash so let's go ahead and create last block function self do data self dot read so self dot read will again send the complete data here but we just need the last block so for that we can do if data to return data minus one so since the data is in the list format and by doing minus one it will just give us the last block here and it is the same logic here from the blockchain class we will send the data in the list format and uh, if we have the data we'll append the data in the existing data and finally we'll, we will write the data here head back to uh, blockchain.py before we do that we need to create the data folder inside the bitcoin go ahead and create data directory so this is where it will store our blockchain head back to blockchain class and import our database module here from blockchain dot backend dot core dot database dot database module import blockchain db cool so now we need to replace self dot change functionality with uh, our disk function so let's go ahead and move self dot chain create a new function called write on disk and this will take block class as an input create an instance for blockchain db blockchain db and call the write function and pass the block that we want to write all right we have to also create another function called fetch the last block fetch last block create the instance for blockchain db class okay and call the last block method here and return it blockchain db dot last block so this will give us the last block so now we need to change this logic here to write the data on disk instead of uh, self dot chain so let's go ahead and uh, remove this and replace it with self dot write on disk also change it uh, in list format because we need to send the block input as a list all right so we have changed it remove this also you can remove the json module from here because we are no longer using here also now we need to get the last block here right so do self dot fetch last block and this will give us the last block and uh, we don't need to use this anymore all 
All right. So let's see what exactly we did. We created two functions: write the data on disk and fetch the last block. Uh, it was the same like uh, self dot chain. Instead of writing the data in self dot chain, we are writing the data on disk. We have created the blockchain DB uh, class here. So inside the blockchain DB, we have created the base DB and the blockchain DB class. And we have created the read function and the write function. So write function is to write the block data into the blockchain file. And read is to read the data from the blockchain file. And finally, we are also returning the last block and it will just send us the last block that we have written to the chain so this looks good um, let's verify we do not have blockchain file yet so it should automatically create this file once we'll fire the blockchain class so let's go ahead and do that okay so it is uh, writing the data it has created the blockchain file here so that means it has written the blockchain data let's wait for a couple of seconds and then we'll see the data in the blockchain file and this error message is fine because at first we will not have the blockchain file available and uh, it will fail and we already took care of that message here so this is where it is coming from And we can see it is uh, successfully writing the data to the blockchain file. We have block 0, block 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Scroll down. And it is continuously writing the data to this file. Just now it has written the block number 38, 39. And perfect. Very well. So we have completed the functionality to write the data on disk.